Hey, it's Smoocheroo. Artesian Builds, the company that builds PCs marketed towards streamers and content creators, did a drawing for a new PC. They marketed it as a ambassador giveaway. And they went through 10 ambassadors and before picking the winner. And what was the reason for not picking the first name they drew? Well, not enough followers, not enough concurrent viewers, growth. But the reason that had the CEO of the company literally pumping his fist, not enough clicks on the Artesian Builds banner. This person has three months of ambassadorship and not a single click. Now, for those of you who don't know who Artesian Builds is, it is a boutique PC building company who also streams on Twitch. Uh, they stream themselves building the PCs. They have a little setup where people can subscribe and gift subs to improve the PC of that's being built. More or less, that's Artesian Builds in a nutsack. The CEO, Noah Katz, is frequently on stream, either sitting beside somebody who's building a PC or occasionally building a PC himself, and um, talks to the chat, you know, answers questions, tries to make jokes. Scratch our backs, we shine your shoes. You make us a handmade leather belt, we give you a new hat. This video is not about his appearance, the way he speaks, the way he dresses, anything like that. There's plenty of that on Twitter. This video is about the way he arbitrarily changed the rules of a giveaway to give a computer to the right type of ambassador. There are different rules today than other rules, but there'll be minimum requirements to make sure that these prizes are not going to random people who then quit streaming and quit talking about Artesian builds. As far as my understanding of the giveaway and any promotion that I saw of it, the only requirement for somebody to win is to be an ambassador. But seemingly on a whim and during stream, Noah changes these requirements to arbitrary things that he vaguely mentions at. You must have an active account, active followers, active streams. You gotta be doing something. Until about four people have been eliminated and then he cements down. CCV also would be 50, a floor 50 as our CCV floor. This person has driven less than one click per week. We have to purge people, we might have to purge a lot of folks. Okay. All followers combined still under 5k, even across multiple socials. I do want to mention there are multiple people who were skipped over for these very same reasons. In the apology video, he says that he glossed over some contestants, and that's not exactly what happened. If anything, he focused on them a little too hard. He mentioned their statistics, he mentioned their analytics to the whole chat, to all the viewers. He talked about these streamers' lack of statistics as if it meant a lack of drive and a lack of work ethic. 5,000 plus followers, 50 plus live viewers, channel growth, recent broadcasts, clear content creator ambitions with only 2.4k followers. Having low follower count and low concurrent viewers is not an indicator of ambition. I get it. If you're giving something to somebody and they're going to announce it, you want to make sure they can announce it to as many people as can hear it. And all those people can say, oh, Artesian Builds, they did this. They gave this person a PC. Maybe I should go check them out. Their PC is made by Artesian Builds. And then they go and they go to your website and they buy your PC. I get it. Yeah, that's great. From a business standpoint, that's what you would want. But you marketed this as an ambassador giveaway. You didn't market this as a partner giveaway or any other level. You marketed this towards ambassador giveaway. There are explicit guidelines on the Artesian Builds website as to what can constitute an ambassador. 12 CCV consistently, according to Twitch Tracker, 6 CCV and 40 monthly hours consistently streamed, according to Twitch Tracker, Facebook stream link with 1,000 people following, a YouTube channel with at least 1,500 subscribers, at least 50,000 TikTok subscribers, 1,000 Theta followers, or 1,000 Trovo followers. Now, note that there is no follower requirement for Twitch, and the Ambassador program mentions specifically you have to meet one of these qualifications. Even if all of this wasn't the case, okay? Even if he had changed the rules prior to the stream and alerted all of the people entered into the giveaway that the rules had changed, the team at Artesian Builds should have put in the work to take the people who don't qualify and take them out of the drawing. 
That way you don't run the risk of pulling up a name of somebody and saying, you know what, actually you don't win. Because that is what happened and he was very aware that was going to happen. He said it multiple times before the drawing even started. You've heard the speech. There'll be diligence done. Do not freak out yet about uh, the name until we have done validation. It's just so fucking sad. The whole thing could have been avoided if he had just waited to change the rules of the giveaway until the time when he had gone through the list and included only the people he wanted to be eligible for the giveaway. Instead, he opted to change them on the fly and openly judge people's analytics in front of the stream. Uh, Gecko, we run the contest, we make the rules. It's a slight change. We don't want to give PCs evil that quit playing the game. We can't afford to give away epic multi-thousand dollar free PCs, partially sponsored by Intel and Pixio. Thanks so much, you guys are great. To just any old body. So I don't have all the vital lore here, but it sounds like maybe he has had winners before that got the PC and promptly stopped streaming and he feels like he lost a lot of revenue from that, which is possible. But you can't just change the rules of a giveaway on a whim after announcing it a certain way. That has been made abundantly clear. Almost every single tweet regarding this incident uh, mentions that, so I'm not going to beat that dead horse too much. To me, one of the most alarming things, other than obviously the winner being re-rolled after being drawn for arbitrary reasons made up out of thin air, is how smugly Noah announced that he hadn't gone through the list and taken people out. We still haven't been able to filter out the list properly. And to give him some credit, I mean, he does say, don't shame the people whose names I draw who don't qualify. Or whose names will show up that are not going to be picked. Don't publicly shame them. Don't go to their channels. Uh, not having a big enough stream isn't a reason to shame somebody. But I guess he didn't get that memo because that's exactly what he did. Yeah, no. Less than one follower gained per day. That's going to be a no from us, dog. It seems like for brief moments in time, Noah was aware of how this was going to be perceived, as evidenced by this clip. This has become the roast of previous and, and current affiliates and, and people. Uh, it seemed like Noah was looking at this as an opportunity to get a PC in the hands of somebody who's got a following on Twitch, who's going to get them lots of viewers, who's going to get them lots of sales, who's going to grow their brand. When it was advertised as a ambassador giveaway, which means he didn't want to help somebody who might need the PC. He wanted to give it to somebody who might shout them out and get more sales. Instead of a PC giveaway, it was looked at as an advertising slash sponsorship opportunity. For me, probably the worst thing about this whole incident is the way he looked for a reason to not give the PC to the, to the first name drawn. And whenever he found that reason, he literally just pumped his fucking fist he said, all right, here's the reason. There it is. Jackpot. Let's go. Oh, and there's the re-roll. And you know, that's really not a good look at all. After ending stream, Artesian Builds took a look at Twitter and found that people weren't very happy about the way they had handled the giveaway. And they made a four tweet non-apology on Twitter, stopping halfway through to promote their ambassador program by saying, ironically, everybody is eligible to get awesome free stuff and earn money from referrals. Suffice it to say, this wasn't received very well, so Artesian Builds would go again and make two more attempts at an apology. Uh, first one being the typical apology letter from the CEO. Due to updated giveaway guidelines, which he made up on the spot, we would like to be able to provide new guidelines in the future that will allow everyone to participate in all and any giveaways, which apparently are the guidelines that were in place before this stream. But in this instance, I have failed not only our viewers, customers, and ambassador, but also my team and the values of our brand. Okay. These apologies are as condescending as the insults themselves, and honestly, at this point, he should probably just stay off his of social media until the whole thing dies down. He's not doing himself any favors. Now this notably is after YouTuber Jay's Two Cents announces that he will be providing a computer. And this letter is followed by a video two hours later of Noah doing his best blue steel while recording an apology video for Twitter 
with the worst audio quality you could manage with any given piece of equipment. I glossed over a few amazing creators and I absolutely should not have done that. They lost partners, they've been hemorrhaging follows and just overall having a really bad time of it. And, and rightfully so, honestly, it's a bad move. There's a lot of ways to handle it better. They should have just honored the first person drawn no matter who they were or what they were doing or how quickly they would quit making content. Alternatively, they could have done a different type of drawing. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about this a little bit. Later.